This is iChillum, and today I'll be bringing you a video quality comparison between XSplit and open broadcaster software using the Tomb Raider benchmark. I'll start by going over the configuration and settings in Tomb Raider, as well as my PC. Well, this exercise was really for my personal interest, but being that I already have an XSplit license, I figured I had nothing to lose in checking out open broadcaster software since it's, well, open source. As you can see, I have my resolution set to 1920 by 1080, and all settings are as high as they can go except for shadows. For video encoding, both XSplit and Open Broadcaster software are set to 14,000 bit rate at 1080p. The CPU is an AMD 3.4 GHz 8 core, which is liquid cooled and overclocked to 4.2 GHz per core. The video card is an MSI HD7950 Turbo 3GB Frozer 3, which is also overclocked. Feel free to pause the video or look at the description for more overclocking information. We've got an SSD drive, some memory, all that good stuff. The first video will be of XSplit running the Tomb Raider benchmark, followed by OBS. Finally, we'll finish up with a split screen video for a real-time comparison. It's also worth a mention that audio is encoding an AAC 320 bitrate through both applications. The frame rates stay above 50 in game through all tests, but you'll notice frame loss on the video output here and there through both. The settings could slightly be adjusted to have an optimal result, but these differences should also help illustrate our comparison. Enjoy!
So, what do you think? Did one of them stand tall above the other? I forgot to say this before, but everything was software encoded, so there's no hardware capture devices used during this test. XSplit has a beautiful and intuitive interface that makes this a great solution for beginners. The ability to edit scenes is, well, amazing. The bad is that the application itself is a resource hog, even when idle and sometimes crashes. The support on the forums is lackluster in my opinion, with the engineers being short and sometimes rude. OBS is very lean in the resource department while idling and seems to be very compatible with whatever you throw at it. The video quality appears to be slightly more vibrant than an XSplit, but both had their fair share of frame loss. Did I mention this thing is free? In terms of the bad, the editing around the software is reasonable but far from intuitive. Editing is more limited, and overall, having used XSplit for a while, it almost seems unwieldy. You may have known that there was one FPS drop in using OBS for the in-game, but I find this quite negligible being that the overall was a bit higher quality. What's one FPS anyway? I personally will keep both of these tools under my belt, but would love to see what you guys think about by uh, posting in the comments. Thanks for watching.